You know, a lot of people are scared of HOAs because they are scared of the HOA dues, not knowing exactly what is in the HOA dues and how it compares to actually owning a house and those expenses. And I'm going to tell you the makeup of the HOA dues and how it's real close to the cost of owning a house. Hey, y'all, welcome into another, uh, I just said y'all. I just got back from South Carolina and I said y'all. I have a a twinge in there. Sorry about that. Back to California. Hey, you all. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Minute Show. It's, I'm glad to have you in. Um, you know, we are on YouTube and we are also on Facebook. Uh, we have a lot more activity in the show on our Facebook page, the Real Estate Minute Show, so you can check us out there. Um, and there'll be a little ding, ding, ding thing coming up and also at the end. Uh, YouTube is, they don't have a lot of subscribers there. I pretty much just put it there to... Um, uh, to have the show there uh, to kind of store the videos and such, but you're welcome to subscribe there as well and you can get notified in your email. Putting that aside for a second, the difference between an HOA and HOA dues versus owning a home and having no dues potentially is, is kind of a point of contention for a lot of people, a bone of contention, I should say. And I'm here to tell you, they're, they get really close to being the same in most instances. So when you buy something in an HOA community, obviously you're abiding by certain rules and they call them CCNRs or conditions, covenants and restrictions. And there's some previous episodes where we talk a little bit more about that, uh, that you can go back and find there. Um, but what is made up in the HOA dues themselves, like let's say for instance, the HOA dues are $350 a month. Okay. While you're saying, oh, forget the HOA. I don't want to pay $350 a month. It seems like a lot. Generally, and this is a big assumption, big generalization, I should say. Generally, a lot of HOAs within that $350, $400 a month, whatever the dues are, it includes property insurance, which is fire insurance for the place. A lot of times, depending on where you're at, it'll include flood, maybe earthquake insurance in there as well. Like if it burns down, you don't have to cover the expense. You just have to have a little insurance policy, a much, much, much cheaper policy for the inside. So it does include insurance, which is a huge expense, and that's covered in the HOA dues. The second is the common areas, the gardening the lighting for the street lights, for the uh, parking lot lights, uh, any sort of maintenance issues, pipe bursts, pavement, curb repairs, all that kind of stuff, that's all included in the HOA dues in that $350, $400. Bucks. Um, you also get, uh, I mentioned landscaping. You also usually, a lot of times, an HOA community will be on one big water meter, one big master meter for water and for sewer charge. So in a lot of instances that HOA dues include the water charge as well. And there's actually a community out here in Oak Park, California, where that HOA actually includes basic cable TV along with it. So you might find little things like that. It's kind of rare, but you might find that too. So it's important to ask when you're buying an HOA community, what's included? So we talked about property insurance, which is huge, which could include flood or maybe earthquake or wind insurance, depending on where you're at. The second is it includes water and sewer in most instances. The third, all the maintenance, landscaping and fixing and maintenance and repairs around the property. A lot of times it includes roof repairs, which are huge. Okay. A lot of times it includes pest control even, okay, that, that for the common areas. You're, you could take care of the inside as you wish, but a lot of times it includes all the pest repair and pest control around the property and sort of wood rot related to it, termite damage. And a lot of times what it also includes is the trash. So they'll have big trash dumpsters there, you can imagine. Sometimes the HOA communities have little, everyone has got their own can, but that's a bit more rare to actually a common trash facility, which it also includes. So if you're owning a house, now you don't have an HOA community in a lot of instances. Now you're paying for your own property insurance, okay? Whether it's earthquake, flood, wind, that could be, depending on the size of the house, anywhere between $1,000 to $3,000 a, a, a year. Now you have a landscaper to take care of your property around it, like my trees in the backyard you see right here, because I'm working from home today. You see that? All that stuff is expensive to maintain. It could be anywhere between $100 to $500 a month to, to take care of your landscaping. You might have a pool. An HOA has, takes care of the pool. If there's a pool in the HOA community, if you have a pool at your house, now you got to take care of the pool. That's $100, $150 a month. Now you have the water and sewer bill. That's going to come depending on where you live, how big the place is. That's $50 to $150 a month. Uh, the trash, now you got to pay generally uh, on your bill, either electric bill sometimes in certain areas it's included, others it's separate. Uh, that's $50, $60 a month. Um, all that stuff, once you add up what you have to pay now owning a house, in a lot of cases, in most cases, it's just about the same as your HOA dues. And a lot of times your HOA dues in a lot of instances can be less than what it would cost to own a house without HOA dues because now you take the risk of any repairs that are necessary. Like if your pipe bursts and it's not covered by insurance, for instance, 
you're paying that three, four grand. If it breaks at the HOA community, that three, four grand is split amongst 50 to 100 other people, depending on the size of the HOA. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up a little bit. Don't be afraid of the HOA due cost. Look at what it includes and then talk to your realtor about how that compares to a home in your area. All right. Hope that helps. See you next week on the Real Estate Minute Show. And stay, stay warm in California. It's freezing. It was 37 degrees last night. So I hope it's warmer where you're at. Have a good week.